Today, I'll be showing you how to make this hologram effect in CapCut. I've already uploaded all the resource files for this project. You'll find the link in the description below. Now, let's get started. Go to your hologram folder and drag your hologram video above the main footage. Next, go to blend mode and lower the opacity just a little. This helps you see both layers while lining things up. Now, scrub through your footage to the part where the person taps the hologram. Make a clean cut at that point. Then, repeat the same process for the next few touches. Once you're done, select all the hologram clips you just cut and bring the opacity back to 100. With those selected, tap Create Compound Clip to group them together. Now, go to Effects and search for Player 3. Drag that effect onto your hologram video. Next, open the Effect Settings and pull the texture all the way down to zero. Then, lower the glow to around five. Go to Rotate and set it to about 75 degrees. Then, scale the video down slightly and place it just above the arm, right where the watch is. Next, open the Blend Mode and set it to Color Dodge. This makes the hologram blend naturally with the scene, like real light shining through. It's still a little faint, so let's make it pop. Go to Adjustments, Color Wheel, and pull the shadows slightly toward blue. Then open Curves. Pull up the Luma curve just a little, and then raise the blue curve too. Now the hologram should look brighter, cleaner, and more realistic. All right, now let's make it move with the watch. Go to Tracking, Motion Tracking. Place the tracking box directly over the watch and start tracking. Once it's done, turn off Scale so the hologram stays the same size but still moves perfectly with the wrist. Now that our hologram is tracked, let's make it feel interactive, like he's actually touching it. Go to Text, select Default Text, and drag it between your main video and the hologram clip. Inside the text box, type a single period, just a dot. Now, under Text Presets, choose the Glow Style and change the color to a bright blue. This will act as the touch point. Each time his finger touches or slides across the hologram, we'll place one of these dots. For quick taps, just duplicate and position them where his finger makes contact. But for sliding movements, we'll animate the dot to follow his finger. On that text layer, extend the clip a bit longer to cover the movement. Then, go to the moment where his finger starts sliding and add a position keyframe. Move forward a few frames and drag the dot to match the finger's motion. Keep following his movement until the slide is complete. Now, let's make the hologram appear naturally, as if it's projecting straight from the watch. Go to the point where the person looks up, like he's reacting to the hologram appearing. Click on the hologram clip and add a position keyframe right there. Now go back a few frames to where he's still tapping on his watch and drag the hologram downward, just below the frame. When you play it back, it should now rise up from the watch. Next, let's make it fade in. Go slightly before that first position keyframe, add an opacity keyframe, 
and turn the opacity all the way down. Then move a few frames forward and bring the opacity back to 100. Now, let's smooth the animation. Open the keyframe graph editor, select both Y-axis keyframes, and choose Cubic Out. This makes the movement start fast and slow down gently at the top. Perfect. Now, when he looks up, the hologram rises and fades in smoothly. And that's how you create the hologram effect in CapCut. If you'd like to take this effect even further and learn more about motion tracking, check out the video on screen right now. That's where I show how to track multiple subjects in both Filmora and CapCut.